Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out an update for Edge, which is the latest point release update, which they pushed out on the 29th of Feb, which was late yesterday in my part of the world. And this is an interesting update because I haven't received it yet, but that's quite common because um, some of these point release updates do take a day or two to get to specific and different regions. But nonetheless, um, if you want to double check you have the update, we head to our main menu as always, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And if you have received the update already, which I'm sure most would have, after the update has been applied, your version will be sitting on version 122.2365.63. So that will be bumped up from 0.59 to 0.63 if you have the update. So just take note of that. Now, just to go through what um, the fixes and what's new with this little update, um, they fixed various bugs and performance issues. So once again, this is a maintenance update. So there's no info regarding what bugs or performance issues have been addressed. But nonetheless, just double check your browser's up to date because it could possibly address any problems you've had with version 122. And then the big one here is that the update will include the same security fixes that have rolled out for Google Chrome. Now, before we have a look at those, first of all, there is one Edge specific update that's actually rolled out for Edge itself. And that's an information disclosure vulnerability that's been addressed. And then the Chromium open source project, as mentioned, has received four security fixes addressing four high risk vulnerabilities, which is your second highest after a critical flaw. And those are all um, vulnerabilities that are affecting the V8 JavaScript engine, which is part of the open source Chromium project, which Edge is based on. So quite a lot going on with the security side of things. Now with the maintenance update and the security update um, out of the way just to let you know that if you have received this update apparently the update is causing an issue and I have seen a comment already on the channel and I've seen one or two reports already doing the rounds where um, some are saying that after updating to this latest update 122.2365.63 that um, the browser is saying there's not enough memory to open a web page and also Copilot is having issues and this is strange because although there is enough memory on your system um, a lot of users after updating are getting this problem and are faced with this issue. Now I may have a fix and I've seen one or two reports doing the rounds online where if you head to your settings after applying the update and you head to privacy search and services and you scroll down to where you get your enhanced web protection, which is a feature that's built into the browser. So here we go. Uh, enhance your security on the web. It says turn on this mode to browse the web more securely and help protect your browser from malware. Now the recommended is balanced, but if you have set yours to strict, um, the browser apparently isn't loading with uh, certain websites. And even the settings page, which we're currently on, is not loading the settings page. And uh, um, it's this, it's also saying and, and rendering a message that the system is out of memory, even um, if users have enough free and plenty of free RAM available. And as you can see, if you have set this to strict, it says add security mitigations for all sites. Parts of sites not might not work and blocks security threats. So if you have this set to strict, this could be the reason why um, you are getting that message where um, it says that the system is out of memory and that you can't load settings, copilot, and certain websites. So do yourself a favor, pop that to recommended until Microsoft rolls out a fix, and then that should address the issue. And that's after installing this latest point release update. And if I hear any news about this or anything changes, then obviously I'll post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.